Hi, my name is Dr. Ami Dakshini. I'm a practicing dermatologist in Bangalore in my clinic called Think Skin Clinic. So are you stressed out? Your skin can show it. Studies have shown that acute and chronic stress can completely overwhelm the skin vitality, making the skin weak, making it less resilient to external environment and internal abuse. And stress can change completely the effect of all your hormones on the skin, leading to inflammatory conditions like acne, flaring up of your eczema, psoriasis, as well as causing newer skin conditions and pigmentation. So what should one do? And how does stress affect the skin so overwhelmingly? Now one needs to understand that when we are stressed out, we have certain changes that occur in our internal milieu starting from the brain. Here there is a very important organ which is the king of all hormones. That is the hypopituitary axis. Now this axis produces something called cortisol. Cortisol is a very important hormone. It is our fight and flight hormone which gives us that immediate understanding of what we are supposed to do at one particular time. But when we are constantly stressed, the effect of cortisol goes up and stays plateaued. Now, this cortisol immediately will help us, but when it's present in the skin and the body for a very long time, can actually harm us. By doing what? The first thing that it does is it increases the amount of oil secretion in the body. And this oil secretion then tends to clog the pores and this can lead to stress-induced acne. So these adult acne are very difficult to treat. They normally do not respond to the conventional medications because its cause is the cortisol and not generally what causes acne. The second thing it does is increases inflammation. Now when inflammation in the body increases, there are a lot of changes that happen to the skin. It causes flare-up of eczema, psoriasis, vitiligos. It can lead to certain changes, not just in the skin, but also to the scalp and hair, and you start noticing severe hair loss. What stress and cortisol also do is, although they produce more oil on the body, the skin starts becoming drier. The skin loses its skin barrier function, and due to that, the water loss from the skin starts increasing making the skin more flaky, sensitive, as well as irritable. And that can also cause flare-up of drier skins, eczemas, as well as psoriasis. Cortisol is a hormone which, when present for a long time, causes increased sensitivity of the surroundings. So you start noticing more damage caused by pollution, more damage caused by ultraviolet light, and you start noticing more pigmentation, patchy pigmentation on the face. And last but not the least is chronically, if cortisol and stress is high, our collagen and elastin degradation is immeasurable. And new production of collagen and elastin is brought down. Now, when this happens, signs of aging are visible. You start noticing fine lines and wrinkles, start noticing uneven texture, bumpy skin and the radiance, the freshness, as well as the smoothness of the skin is lost. So stress directly affects the skin in multiple ways and that we need to understand. And that's where it comes, how do we then take care of our skin? First, we need to remember is we need to equip ourselves with de-stressing mechanisms. Stress is present in all our lives. We all get stressed. But how do we combat it? How do we take care of ourselves when we are stressed? That is very important. So important for you to know what suits you. It's easy to say meditate. It's easy to say, you know, calm down. But you need to know what works for you. For some, cooking, for some stitching, for some listening to music, for some, you know, going and doing a sport or just working out can work as a great de-stressor. Find what works for you and do that. The second is when you know that you are a little stressed out and when you are not feeling normal, do not use too many actives on your skin. Keep your skincare routine very simple and balanced. Use a mild cleanser, use a gentle moisturizer and don't forget your sunscreen. 
at night avoid strong exfoliating products like AHAs or BHAs or retinols instead use calming agents like aloe vera gel or a tea tree oil or just simple calamine that will reduce the irritation that is brought by stress and cortisol onto your skin and give you some time to feel calm and cool without using those actives the next thing that you can do is find ways that you can help your skin grow by maintaining a healthy nutritious diet you can add more proteins because collagen is nothing but a derivative of a protein you can add more antioxidants because that will reduce the oxidative stress that is produced during high cortisol levels so you take more fruits like berries citrus fruits which act as great antioxidants take internal sunscreens like your beta carotene rich bell peppers pomegranates watermelons ginger garlic all of these are natural sunscreens they are going to protect your skin prevent pigmentation prevent those fine lines and wrinkles which we normally see when we are chronically stressed keep your skin care routine simple eat a healthy balanced diet do not forget to de-stress exercise and sleep well and see to it that your skin which is stressed out will then start feeling good and remember the brain and skin axis is not just one way it is two way so if your skin is feeling rehydrated good fresh it will transmit those signals to your brain and your stress levels will also come down